and welcome to the Homemade Podcast Sports. This is your host, J Pop. And welcome back to the Homemade Podcast of Sports with your host, J Pops. Guys, in this latest edition, I had to bring something to you guys because I want to finish up uh, what I was seeing on yesterday with uh, the now current five-star uh, quarterback commit, Connor, uh, Connor Wegman. It's either Connor Wegman or Connor Wegman. Wegman. Uh, so what, what does this actually do for Texas A&M football program going forward? Well, for one thing, first of all, the recruiting classes that Jimbo Fish is bringing in throughout, this is going to year number four now, the recruiting classes that he's bringing in is by far one of the best ever that we have ever seen at uh, Texas a and These recruiting classes, football-wise, coming in for Texas a and now, Compared to how it used to be, wow! It makes you wonder, like, damn man, what 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 up there with the blue blood programs now? Now, are we going to out recruit one of these blue bloods at 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 one time or another? Yes, we are very well on our way of doing it. We don't know why we're doing it. So I just need you guys to stay tuned, man. Stay tuned, stay tuned, guys. We are on the way. I love what I'm seeing. I know you guys love what you all are seeing, but man, let's talk about it. So, with the so with the addition of Connor Wigman coming in and and with the addition of Connor Wigman coming in. Uh, and with the addition of him being now uh, upgraded to a five-star commit, what this potentially does is now put the spotlight on Texas A&M and it puts the spotlight on Connor Wegman, you know, uh, wh- whether he knows or not. And now this sends out a recruiting alert to each and every wide receiver <laughs> that is highly ranked now. No, no, no. I need you guys to understand and listen to what I'm saying. With that addition of Connor Wingman being a five-star recruit now, I, I'm i going to tell you one thing, and I'm going to tell you like this. And do not be surprised when this guy makes his commitment in uh, June, I believe, or July. The guy, Kojo, Kojo, and the last name starts with an A. I don't want to, you know, pronounce these names wrong. But he's one of them. Highly rated four-star a uh, wide receiver, uh, the now five-star rated wide receiver, uh, Evan Stewart. Mark my words, I believe Evan Stewart will be committing to Texas a and I'm going to make that bold statement because at one point, I remember when I had posted something about Evan Stewart when he had decommitted, and I was like, man... We we could potentially be in the mix. And then he just dropped this top eight on yesterday. And Texas a and was in there. Of course, Texas is still in there. Ohio State, I believe. Uh, I believe Alabama was in there. I think USC was in there as well. But guys like that, now this ups the recruiting game by far offensively. These last pass classes that we have brought in, that's been led by all defense because we needed that so bad because we were so terrible under Kevin Sumlin uh, defensively, man. That is a shame. Yes, we were. We were so terrible up under him. Uh, but offensively, you know, that, that that was the issue that I was never, ever worried about. I'm sorry. That's, that's just me. I was never, ever worried about the offense. Defense, I was worried about for the longest, for years. We had no defense at all, man, to compete with anybody in the SEC, but now we have it. Now we have it, all right? Uh, the reason why I put on this game here is because of the simple fact that you have seen that five-star uh, quarterback commit. And keep in mind, man, Alabama also 
Oh, I'm sorry. The team in Tuscaloosa also has a, a five-star uh, committed quarterback as well. Okay, you got to keep that in mind. That and a five-star running back. What that potentially does is now open up uh, Texas a and them, like I say, because they, trust me, the team in Tuscaloosa and the team in Louisiana got that alert, and they was watching. Trust me. Be believe me when I tell you that. They're watching. But hell, because we're, we're, we're watching. They're watching. So, now, though, now, I believe all of the teams that I believe it's now four teams in the SEC period that has uh, a five-star QB committed to their team. And this is just in the 22 class alone. This in the, yeah, this is up in the 2022 class alone. It's crazy, right? That is crazy. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. Mark my words, the SEC will be fun as hell to watch in coming years, man. Now, what this does for uh, Texas a and them though, in the SEC where it's going forward is it opens up a whole nother dynamic of who's going to be the SEC West champion from years on out. Is it going to uh, is it going to continue being the team in Tuscaloosa? Is it going to be the team in uh, in Louisiana? Or could Texas a and them make a push for that top spot and remain making a push for the top spot in the coming years? Or could they grab that top spot this year? I believe we will. Just so happy, man. With that huge uh, boost of momentum recruiting-wise for the 2022 class, and, man, you guys have to keep on remembering that all these classes are compressing with one another. All these classes are being built. Uh, Jimbo Fisher and his staff has built all of these classes for Texas A&M, which is phenomenal. It, it, is, it is freaky phenomenal. All right? Uh, but Jimbo Fisher has built these classes for one simple reason. For one reason. The hump, he's gotten over the hump of, of the team in Louisiana, and he's gotten over the hump with Auburn. This is the hump that Jimbo Fisher has not gotten over yet. I believe that Jimbo Fisher knew that probably with the three years, uh, probably within three years, well, I'm sorry, with, with, within four years, he was going to be able to start matching this team as well as all the other SEC Blue Blood teams, okay? You, got, you have to understand that it's a process. It is a process. He has now, he has now completed part of the process. Be tuned in on that game when they come down to College Station. That game in College Station, man, that is going to be a huge, huge game if both teams are undefeated, in which in my mind they will be undefeated by the time they meet up on October 10th. Be ready for that huge match. I, I wish it was prime time. It's not, but, but we do have uh we have the three o'clock spot on uh on, on CBS. So that's 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 there. This will be the second year in a row where uh we're going to play them on CBS. This is gonna be like yeah. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it'll be like the second year in a row. This this is this is gonna be the game to watch. It's going to be the game watch. This is why I'm showing this film. This is going to be the game watch, man. That game will be so electric and dynamic, man. This game will be awesome. You have to remember, uh, and you have to put it in your head that Jimbo Fisher has built some classes and built some roster depth. That's what he had to accomplish first. In order to go up against this team, you have to build a roster for him. Why? Because they've already built, they're 12 years in with a roster. Jimbo Fish is in his fourth year. He wasn't even much close to being on the roster-wise as those guys, okay? Now we're getting there. Now we're in there. Uh, you know what? Let me rephrase that. We're not, we're not getting there. We're already in there now. All right? So you guys have to pay attention to that. Uh, but I believe that with the addition of Conor Wegman now being a five-star, he will bring in highly rated uh, wide receivers, whether they're four star or five stars, uh, and whether they're three star as well, because the guy that's uh, committed to us um, from uh, from Texas, by the way, uh, he's been committed since early. 
that guy in my mind should have moved up to the to a four star. That is not a three star wide receiver. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, please go and put it on tape and look at uh look at our recruiting rankings. Or as we're still number five, go and look at those rankings. Okay, please go and look at that man. But this will be a huge addition for each for each and every wide receiver out there that was thinking about maybe uh putting Texas a and them in their top eight, top twelve, you know, because they're coming out of the top twelve now. But that will play a part in each and every wide receiver, uh, each and every wide receiver going forward, and this will play a part with every athlete's decision going forward. Mark my words on that. I know pe pe people do, people does not like the simple fact that Texas a and them is up there. I've already heard it uh, down the line to where will who's over there paying the players that Texas a and them. I I've heard it all now. I have heard it all. Why? Because. They don't want to see the teams that's not a blue blood potentially put their self in a blue blood, I mean, on a blue blood platform. Fans don't want to see that. Some, some fans don't want to see that. Fans of the blue blood teams, they do not want to see that. You know, uh, USC fans, I'm pretty sure they do not want to see that. Hell, they want to see USC there. When will USC get there? Uh, as long as Clay Helton is around, they won't get there. But but that's a whole other story, and that's getting off top. But just just keep in mind that uh, that like I say, with the addition of a uh, Connor Wingman now being labeled as a five star recruit, he will bring in guys like Evan Stewart. I I highly think that Evan Stewart will commit. I'm not sure when this commitment date will be, but I do believe that Evan, Evan Stewart will commit to this team, man. So, ironically, the number one player, Quinn Ewers, is from Texas, quarterback, number one pocket passing quarterback. And ironically, Connor Wingman, five-star recruit, <laughs> he's the number one dual threat quarterback. That's crazy, right? He, he, he's number one dual threat quarterback. Both of them from out the state of Texas. state of Texas is loaded in, the, in this 2022 cycle. They are loaded, Okay. So please keep that in mind, man. We will keep on chiming up. Uh, this will not be the last time that you see a five-star commit for 2022 cycle. I believe that uh, if everything goes right, you could be looking at maybe four five-star uh, commits within 2010, uh, 2022 cycle. All right, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I, but I was just coming to you guys, man. I'm not gonna, uh, you know, I won't be long. You know, uh, didn't want to make it long because I have some things to do. I got to get up and start grilling, you know, but once again, man, I will be at the spring game. Please be looking for me because I will be there, people. I'm not going anywhere. I will be at the spring game on April 24th. Please keep that in mind. If you guys are out there, please come and meet up with me. I would love to meet you, all right? I love all of you guys for tuning in. And once again, hashtag Gigamagus. And thank you guys for tuning in to the hashtag Homemade Podcast Sports. Please, guys, uh, subscribe to the YouTube page and also follow me on Twitter at JPops, on Instagram at JPops, and also on Facebook at hashtag Homemade Podcast Sports. Thank you guys once again. Hashtag Giving Average.